This is CapCut and this is the Logitech MX Creative Console. Together they'd be a powerhouse, except there's still no official CapCut plugin for the Creative Console yet. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom CapCut profile for the Logitech MX Creative Console in five simple steps. Let's begin. Step one, gather the shortcuts. First, open CapCut and head over to help and then keyboard shortcuts. You'll see a list of all the shortcuts here. In the top right hand corner, there's a drop down menu. Make sure you're viewing the active keyboard layout. Unfortunately, you can't copy the shortcuts directly, so you'll need to type them manually. I tried the AI shortcut method, screenshotting the pages and asking ChatGPT to extract the shortcuts, but it jumbled the order and dropped keys like shift. So manual mapping is still the cleanest option. Some shortcuts are missing altogether, so you'll need to assign those yourself. Use any unused keys or key combinations. You won't need to memorize them since they'll live on the keypad. There's a Google Drive link with a document highlighting what keys I've mapped and what shortcuts I've used for each of them in the description below. Step 2. Map the shortcuts to the keypad. Once your shortcut list is ready, open the Logi Options Plus app and select your creative console. I had a test profile already, but let's start fresh. Click the plus icon and choose Add Application. Find CapCut and select Start with a blank profile. Now comes the manual part, adding each shortcut to a button. It's a bit tedious, but the long-term productivity gains are totally worth it. I promise you. To assign a shortcut, click on the key you want to map. In this case, it's the first key of the first page. And once selected, head over to the system actions panel on the right-hand side. You can see there are many options for how you can customize your keys. But in this case, we need to assign a keyboard shortcut. Select this option and you'll see a pop-up appear on the screen. Here you can type in the key you want to assign. Be sure to label your keys in this step to help you later on. When assigning shortcuts, I kept a Canva file open and updated it alongside the Logi Options Plus app. This made it easy to later add icons and labels without constantly switching back to the shortcut list. Using a consistent naming convention here will help a ton when exporting and uploading icons later on. Once you've mapped all your keys and pages, it's time for the fun part creating the icons. Step three, design the icons. Since I updated the Canva file while mapping the keys, I'm starting with the layout that already mirrors the keypad. I'm using an iOS app icon template at 150 by 150 pixels. To help keep things clean and consistent, add guidelines before designing. I found that splitting the artboard at key points helps keep everything aligned. For the icons, you can use Canva's built-in graphics, generate them with magic media, or pull them from external icon packs. I'm reusing assets from previous and upcoming videos as well as using Canva's built-in graphics. Once your designs are ready, export everything using your preferred naming and folder structure. Step four, upload the icons. With your icons exported and organized, head back to the Logi Options Plus app. Start with the first page and first key. Click the key to open the pop-up. Click the image icon on the top left hand of the pop-up. Hit the upload button and select your icon. After the image is applied, add the text label for the shortcut. You can only adjust the size and color here. So set it how you want it to appear on the keypad. Since I've already added the text beforehand, I will simply click on the eye icon on the right hand side of it to make it disappear. Repeat this for the remaining keys and before you know it, your custom CapCut profile for the Logitech MX Creative Console will be ready to use. Step five, testing and customization. Now that we've got all our keys mapped and updated, we can start testing the new keypad. Open up a project of your choice and try different actions to see how it goes. With time, you'll want to change the arrangement and layout of the page. That's rather simple. If you want to switch two icons on the same page, simply select one with your mouse and drag it to its new position and the key positions will be reversed. If you want to make more complicated multi-page edits, then I'd recommend you create a new page first, cut your icon and paste it there. Once you know where to place what, simply cut the actions from the new page we pasted them to and paste them to the new place. Delete the added page once you're done. 
And there's a simple five-step process of how to create a custom profile for CapCut on the Logitech NX Creative Console. This logic can be applied to any application you might want to add. If you're still here and don't want to do all the work of mapping, creating icons and testing, then I've got a ready-to-go keypad file available on my Patreon. So if you want to save yourself some time, check that out in the link in the description below. Until the next one, take care and keep creating.